Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss one more table manipulation function in Power BI called as group by. This function is similar to a summarize function, but with added benefits. First, let's review the syntax and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. The group by function is similar to the summarize function. However, group by does not do an implicit calculate for any expression column that it adds. Group by permits a new function, current group, to be used inside aggregation function in the extension column that it adds. Group by attempts to reuse the data that has been grouped, making it highly performant. So it takes four uh, parameters. As you can see, the group by function with table, the group by column name, expression, and the name given to that particular expression. So with the help of an example, let's try both summarize function and group by function and see how one differs from another. I have these two tables in PBI, product details and sales detail. And they have one to many relationship and the condition being the product ID. If I go to the tables here, the data, I have sales details table with sales order ID, order detail ID, product ID, quantity, unit price, discount, and line total. So in my example, I'll be using this particular column, that's line total. And if I go back to the product details table here, I have product ID, the name, color, standard cost, and size. I will use color and size to do a group by, and then do a sum of the line total. So what I'll do is first, I'll try to create a new table and then let's try the summarize function first. Summarize, I'll call this table as summarize table equal to summarize function. The table I want to summarize here is sales details and I want to do a group by color and then size. And then I have to give a name for the expression. So I'll call this as line underscore total. Okay. And the expression, I'll use a sum of line total. Hit enter. I'll get a summarized table based on the two columns, color and size. Let me sort this by descending order. So as you can see here, the black color, it has 49216, blue 46287, yellow. Let's remember this one uh, row, black. It has 49216. Now let's try to do the same summarization using group by function. So create a new table here. Call this as group by table. Group by the table name, which I'm going to use here for group by sales details. Group by column name. I'm going to use color and then size, product detail size. And now I have to give some name for the expression here line underscore total and then i have to use some x function i cannot use some function here and if i use some it throws me an error so some x and then the table name here i need i, I need to call the table name and for that i'm going to use current group function, current group. So when I say current group, the existing categorization, which I've just made here, and then expression, I'm going to call this line total, which I just created here. This was the name given to my expression. This is the name which I'm giving for the current, uh, current expression, which I'm creating here. So I'm going to create the sum of line total, right? Okay, so line total is the name which I'm giving for this particular expression. Close the parenthesis here. 
and hit enter, I should be getting the same table, just like the summarized table. So if I do a sort by descending order, you see black 49216. And if I go back to this table, black 49216, blue 46827. Let's see what we have here. 46287, it's exactly the same like summarized table. Then you might question me, why, why not use just summarize function? What's the point in having a group by? So group by allows you to create a one more group by using the existing data set. So I already created a table out of uh, this data using group by. Assume that I want to pick all the colors, all the colors here, and the max for each color. Let's say for black, I know it's 49216. And for blue, I know 46287. For yellow, 46147. So if I want to create another group out of this, let's say I'm, I want to get the max for each color category, how do I do that? So I can create one more group by here. Group by, parenthesis open. And this is the table. I, we know that it takes four parameter. So first parameter is a table. So I'll be using the table which I just created using group by and then comma. And then I want to group by just product details color. So I'm going to use product details color here. And then I want to uh, give a name for the expression. So I'll call this as max line total. So this is the name I'm going to give for the expression. Okay. And the expression I'm going to create here is max. And I need to use the current group function again. And then expression here. I'm calling this max line total. max current group, so expression here is the line total. Yeah, sorry, this is the one because I have the column name as line total. So I'm picking the max of the current group and line total. And now if I hit enter, I should be able to see only the unique colors and the max for each color category. So now let me hit enter. As you can see here, let me do a sort first. I'm getting the max color category and the unique color here. So for black, I already know it's 49216, blue 46287, yellow 46147, etc. So the group by allows you to create another group by for the uh, table which we just created. So this is how we can use group by function. And this is very powerful. And uh, if you look at the summarize function here, so this summarize function doesn't allow you to create a group by within a group by. So that's one of the added advantage of using a group by function. If you have any questions, please drop me a note in the comment session. I'll revert back to you, okay? Hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching. Have a great day.